virgin gentleman in a south on the other one. Jenny Jane, you're all out there with that joint, okay? Good tonight. Um, this is been a hectic day for me trying to get this thing working and everything else. Uh, but hopefully you all be able to see this. Um, now, as of the other day, we had this thing going for a while where uh, we had this question that was basically, um, you know, it start thought thought um, you know, 2016, blah, blah, you know, what does this mean, blah, blah, and stuff like that. Hold on, I'm like messing up. There, I hope y'all didn't hear me well. Um, but, uh, like I said, as of uh, early this morning, there was nothing. Then around, I want to say noontime, because I called the quits, I had to get some sleep. Um, about noontime, this got posted. Now, I'm going to play this through because I am very interested in this. I have been playing Star Trek Online since the end of beta testing. I have been with Star Trek Online for the whole six years. Uh, so this is interesting. Uh, the 50th anniversary of Star Trek is here. We couldn't be more excited to announce our contribute uh, our, our effort. Agents of Yesterday, the third full ex uh, ex ex uh, expansion to Star Trek Online. Ah, uh, players could either create a new character in Star Trek, the original Toss Air, and then we'll set them on the adventure of the classic, which is basically Captain Kirk's era time. Um, and you see, you got a lot of other people, uh, Walter, uh, Chikoke, uh, and uh, Chris doing into Scotty, which is a star there. You see, uh, this release talk on will keep you engaged in the classic Star Trek original era and beyond. Uh, 50th anniversary. Now, I'll play this through and I'm going to be pointing things out because I find this very interesting. Uh, and then I'm going to replay it and then point out different things. Uh, I actually didn't talk today about, um, how that this, uh, you know, what they plan to do, this, everything. The third, I'm going to play through this, and then I'm going to give you the nice two cents of going on. Space. The final frontier. Today, we begin our journey of discovery. We'll explore stars beyond our own. Seeking knowledge and new world. There will be danger. But risk is our business. We will boldly go where no one has gone before. Coming September 2016. Now, right. um, I'll go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Now, even to get to date pack, uh, welcome to uh, where it all began in honor of the 15th anniversary of Star Trek. I don't know, the third. Full expansion of Star Trek Online. Each yesterday, players could either create a character or grant a captain in the original series era uh, to gain their own chain and command of their own to make the era starship. Um, and then, as you can see, that ship just everything else. Uh, I'm going to go to the start of pack first. Alright, uh, start a pack. This is what you get. I know. Alright, so basically you get a T1 
iconoclast gap, and then when you hit level uh, six, you'll get the T6 battle cruiser. You'll get the toss torn uniform. I already have the original toss outfit, so this could just get added in. Uh, then a Temple Age uh, title that you can run around, uh, uh, you know, when people see your your uh, play, and they look at the do you see, you know, what you are, they'll just see uh, the Temple Agent uh, on your uh, captain title. So that's the thing, that's everything else. It's ten ninety nine, so that's not bad. And uh, there's a lot of gifts going about that price. Now we're going to go back. And this is it, the big one. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the different ships. Okay, that's uh, an outfit. Like a uh, time ship looking. It looks like tonight. This shit, the you science characters. This is gonna be interesting. You science characters. I have board technology and core. Okay, that's a uh, good here. When I see this shit, this reminds me of uh, Surprise J. Because uh, when you look, look at the pictures, I don't think you see the set in the cell. You just see the one set in the cell, and then of this ship, and it's like going this direction you see the picture so that to me looked like the J ship another T T6 class and that Enterprise A uh look a look is a T6 class another T6 At the beginning. All right, so take a look at each one of these. All right, the third shoot you get is the T1 Cup class. You're set to T2 or Tier 2 uh, Science class. Uh, T3 Escort. T4 Cruiser. A T5 Cruiser. And then, as I said, the use science characters. This is a T6 uh, class. Well, look right here. Uh, and then, which is it involved? Nanotechnology the conjunction with the door quantitative. So uh seven and nine who she uh, uh joined it's like the leader of the door quantitative helping them uh you know, that person and all. It's gonna be interesting for the science class. A T six escort. Now this here is interesting. I am that I will be buying this pack because I want to shift an action. A T six temporal Cruiser, Sagittarius class. To me, that looked like, like uh, Enterprise J. Because this front does look like the Enterprise J. And I don't think it has double cells. I think it has, looks like the back of this end. Uh, T6 Cruiser. A. It two look like time ship, man. Then you'll get the Toss Corn. Uh, Dorian. Aaron just didn't want to get this. A Tellarite. Vulcan. Uh, of course, I already got the near universe out already. Uh, and the command tower. I already have that. You'll get a specialism qualification. Oh, so these are the like, skills I want to say. Yeah. Yeah, high end kits. Okay. The narrative agent. And then you get more uh, that you can to your title. So that's very really interesting. Yes, I will do the blown the 129.99 pack. Because I pretty much got everything in Star Trek. I've got everything unlocked, available, stuff I did play with, some of the other stuff I had unlocked, but 
I'm not playing with it yet. But now we're back. Ah, okay, so don't be tired. That's what it's Now, to kind of give you all a heads up, oh, let's do that. Let's do this. Yeah, if you can go this way, uh, uh, then add a new page. Which didn't kick in for some reason. It didn't kick in. Yeah, so for some reason not kicking. Alright, well anyway, let's get back. Um uh, me and Aaron were doing some talking earlier. Uh, um let's see how I'm doing. Green says is excellent. Um when they first brought out the, uh, the East Pack, by the way, when they brought out the Milan and they, oh, like, revamped the Ronion area, they brought out the East Ronion area, which is a bunch of Ronion stuff. And they brought out the Delta area, so the, you know, where the boards and all the new area, they brought out this. Now, here's a kicker. Uh, this time, last like, year, the year before, uh, no, it's been a while. It's actually been a while. Um, they brought out this the Delta Rising Pack. And around time, they brought out well, the Delta Recruit, where you was able to run around and thing, but you was able to do, you was able to make a new character. You was you could be called a Delta Recruit. Uh, you got Steve bonuses. If you had them on your team, they would get an actually boost off of you because you was a Delta Recruit. Recruit uh, leveling up to everybody. Um, and when they did that, it actually brought a lot of people back into the game. So people they're interested in creating this new Delta recruit. A lot of people actually went out and bought Delta Rising back and wanted to, you know, play with that. That's everything else. So a lot of people actually back to the game. Now, me and I've been doing some talking. Um, the way it's looking, as you can see there, you can get the starter pack or the full pack here. Uh, uh, I would not be surprised, mark my word for it, not be surprised that now that we have this, you can blow the money and get it now. Uh, and then around summertime, when the summer then comes up, around that time, you're going to be doing this temple recruit where you'll be able to, uh, you know, make a new character, run around, and do things. Things, and they're called temporal like temporal agent. Now, the reason why I say that, this game is known to do called story revamp. Uh, some of these stories and add in like revamp some three, four, four, five times. Now, we're going to pick this apart, show you why. Space. The final front. Today, we begin our journey of discovery. We'll explore stars beyond them, seeking knowledge and new worlds. There'll be danger, but risk is our business. We will boldly go. No one has gone before. Here we go. Third going on with Dora right here. Uh, when they brought on a class, they had a uh, bundle pack where you were able to get what was called the, uh, uh, the toss air bundle pack, and you was able to get like a phaser from that time, 
this bridge that you see here with that where if you got the county class shit, you was able to literally redecorate the whole inside with this um uh you know tossed error inside your ship and it to me I thought it was cool as hell because for a long time I had to been complaining. You know thought it was over the toddler. Each each character each class has their own ship their own ship interior and their own ship out there. And you were able to run around and do things but each one with their own ship with their own interior and their own style. Uh Critic here, a lot of times, the only thing you can change is the bridge. You go through your, uh, your elevator and go to, like, your, uh, uh, your engine room, your crew deck, uh, some of the others. Every single ship, including alien ships, would all be kind of the damn taste of, you know, the game, that sort of thing. They're basically going from one game, sir, to another game, sir, to explore. But brought out the toss pack, you was able to redecorate the inside of your ship. And as long as you had the county class ship, all of them was kind of tailored and related to the class style error. So I thought that was cool. Yes, I've got the toss pack. So let's go on. This. Oops. This here is actually nail. It's known as Dorn Rock. Now, follow up to get the race that, you know, that like kidnapped Kirk and kidnapped the Captain Gorn. But he made them duke it up using Kirk's weapons. And of course, the Captain Kirk defeats the Gorn Captain and, you know, wins and all that stuff. But uh, this is Nick. It's known as Dorn Rock. So it's another story. Story common. Now here's another thing. Uh, here is the canine star base. I uh, think some of the others. But there is a star date that's actually coming in the game. I'm not sure where it's going to be. But it's going to be a brand new uh, star it's going to be coming out. Uh, uh, I would not like this because all the of our, um, our, um, athlete project where we have to do the star days and work on this place and build it up. But, uh, these, the, these pictures in here, it's going to be on the new star days. Now, right here, this is going to be a revamp. This story, the Guardian of Time. Had them re dance on Thor, how many, three times, four times? But it hit them re dance quite a few times, part of your Klingon story arc, your Klingon story arc. So, I would not be surprised they put not like another re dance thing, kind of make it interesting through the toss era. We might have another re dance for this one. Another one. This is in the device. This can also read them two, three, four times. This and everything else. I would not be surprised but because, you know, critic likes to read stories, make things interesting, and kind of, you know, get the game. It basically, they refresh the game storyline to make it fresh again, but it's just a read the story. Uh, so, do not be surprised if we see another read the to the Doom Thing story. Now here's another, if you notice the wall here, there is a story where Kirk, and I have to get the right that was came down, but if I remember correctly, this was, this was a group of people that had a lot, a lot of resources. The Federation won other, there was going on, they might have been clear, but this other, uh, you know, group wanted to tell. The only, this group of people that open source did not believe in violence. They did everything, everything was buying, you know, and no, negotiating, this kind of, but there was no violence of any kind. I used to try.
Ita VDC, you know, some of those old, uh, like another one, just Aaron. If you remember one about the uh, the Greek god, uh, I would not be surprised. We see those stories be brought back into Star Trek Online, then instead. Instead of, um, you know, watching the old talk detail, we'll actually be able to play those and, you know, those kind of things, like that one of the Greek gods and just that everything else. So, you know, I, the best way I can say is Star Trek, they're known to revamp, so we got some revamps probably coming. And there you go, coming into 2016. Alright, well, like I said, I mean, I enjoy it. I've been playing this game practically the whole six years. This and everything else. I, I a lifetime subscriber to the game. I pretty much have everything in unlock. Uh, you know, I play with some of the things just that, uh, but at the same time, uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. This is South Carolina, and it's like Tony Jr. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? I am definitely looking forward to this. Yeah, I'll be blown to 129 to get back and play with it, especially that one that looked at the Enterprise J. I was sit on that ship. I want to see what that comes. But um, what are your all thoughts on this? Are you all, all looking forward to this? Or are you thinking this is just a nothing grab? Yes, do you know? It's a nothing grab, do you know? <laughs> but um, overall, I'm, I'm happy with the game. And I do. I did see the heck on the forums. Um, the people are cryptic. Um, that fact. Another thing that got, also caught my eye. Dark Online is now licensed by CS because it's seen the product. Uh, for a long time, Star Trek Online couldn't do a lot of things because CDS was like the owner of the uh, the Star Trek franchise. So there was a lot of things that uh, the critic wanted to do, but uh, CDS would be like, no, 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 can't do that, no, no, no. Because uh, I don't think that's one reason why I like this game. Um, granted, there's a lot of these so-called canon, uh, story canons, and uh, story uh, canon brothers uh, that kind of like messed up the... Uh, Star Trek franchise, the critics are very hard to, uh, you know, work with CBS, get their approval, and make things interesting, but at the same time, make sure that it's a licensed Star Trek, uh, uh, product franchise. Um, so, tell me your all thoughts on it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Um, you know, like I said, this is, uh, South on the end, like in a junior, uh, enjoy games, uh, subscribe to my channel, click the like button, just like that, and, uh, you know, little long brother, please, down in the comments, draw a thought, because I am looking through this. Um, uh, now,